Hi everyone, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday with me, Laura, and this week I'm going to be showing you how to make a little bare granny square. Okay, so for this tutorial we're going to be using, I'm going to use some grey yarn and some pink yarn. You may wish to prefer to use uh, some brown yarn instead if you want to, it's entirely up to you. I just didn't have any brown. <laughs> but this is a DK light worsted weight yarn, that's a yarn weight of three. And with that, I'm going to be using a 3.5 millimeter E4 crochet hook. And also a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn tapestry needle as well. It's one with a large eye at the end. Okay, so let's begin. Now, you're also gonna need a little bit of black yarn as well, I forgot to say. That was just for the nose and doing the features on the face. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the gray yarn. And the first thing to do is we're going to do a chain four loop. We're going to do a little slip knot and then we're going to chain four. Okay, so chain one, two, three, and four. Okay, so we're going to chain four. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook into our first chain, hook into the first chain, bring the arm through the first chain, and then bring it straight through. The loop upon your hook to do a slip stitch and that creates a little loop of your four chains joined at the beginning and the end okay and in the middle you will see is a hole not to confuse it with your first chain you need to find that center hole but what we're going to do first is we're just going to do a little chain one we're not going to count that as a stitch and then we're going to do two half double crochets, but we're going to join our black in our second, let's bring the black in, in our second, um, the end of our second stitch. So this pattern's in US terminology, so to do a half double crochet, we yarn over, put our hook into the centre of this four chain loop, not your first chain, you need to find the middle, bring the yarn through the middle, and then yarn over, all through all three so we're just wrapping the stitches around the chains now it doesn't matter how many chains you've got okay so that's our first half double crochet I'm gonna do another one of those but we're gonna join our black at the end so we're gonna yarn over and go in to the center bring the yarn through but instead of yarning over with the gray to pull through all three we're gonna yarn over with the black so I'm gonna get our black yarn put that over our hook instead and just hold it with your finger so it stays in place and we're going to bring that through all three loops to finish that half double crochet and now we're working with our black and in our black we're just going to do three half double crochets but on the third one we're going to rejoin the grey so I know you can't see very well with black so but all you need to do is make sure that you're carrying all the bits of yarn as well, especially the, the grey that you're working with. It's going to carry the tails to tidy up. And what I mean by that is I'm just going to keep them together at the top there. Yarn over with your black and go back into the centre. And then bring the yarn, the black yarn, through the middle. And I'm just wrapping it not just around the four chain loop, but around these tail ends as well. And then I'm going to yarn over, pull through all three loops of the black and don't pull your tail ends too tight because that stitch will disappear so just keep it loose for now we'll tidy that up at the end okay we want three of those so we're going to yarn over again go back into the center bring the yarn through and yarn over pull through all three loops of the black okay and then we'll do one more but we're going to rejoin the gray so we're going to yarn over into the center bring the yarn through but instead of yarning over with the black, we can drop the black and pick up our grey, which hopefully will just be sat there because you've been carrying it around. So yarn over with the grey and bring that through all three loops. Okay, so you've done three stitches in the black, hopefully you can see there, and now we're working with our grey again. And now we can pull our tail ends a little bit, not too tight. Okay, and then we're going to finish up with three half double crochets in the grey. Okay, so yarn over. You don't need to carry the black anymore, we're finished with the black. Back into the centre. Bring the yarn through. Yarn over, pull through all three. And then we do another one. 
for the center in the yarn through the yarn over pull through all three and then we do one more to center bring the yarn through and we still yarn over pull through all three with the gray and then move all these turn ins out of the way I need to make sure we've got eight stitches so one two three four five six in the black seven eight and then we find that first half double crochet that we did put our hook into there and do a slip stitch then bring the yarn through that stitch straight through the loop on your hook and there we go and what that what's that what that has created if i can get my words out is his little nose in black like so okay so what we can do now is we can actually cut our black yarn we finish with our black yarn so cut that move it to the side Okay, so moving on to round two, uh, what the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little chain one. I'm not going to count that as a stitch. And starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, but working into the back loops only, we're going to do two half double crochet in each stitch around. So we're going to yarn over, and you see this stitch here we just slip stitched into. Normally we go under both loops like so. But what we're going to do just for this round is we're going to go into, make sure we yarn over, just going to go into the back loop only so just into that back loop so we're keeping that front loop free okay and then we'll bring the yarn through the back loop yarn over pull through all three to do a half double crochet and we're going to do two in there so we're going to yarn over again and go back into the same back loop and do another half double crochet we're going to do that into each stitch around okay so in the next stitch we do two half double crochets in the back loop so instead of going through under both bits of yarn just going to go under the back loop okay just the back loop and do two half double crochets in there so we'll do two half double crochets into each back loop around so there's two in there and two in this black one which I don't know how well you can see that. It's that back loop only. One and two. You don't need to work into the front loops or anything in the future. So we're just doing this to create an effect so his nose stands out a bit. So we've done two in there, two in the next one, next back loop. Another one, same back loop. Then two in the next back loop. One. Another one. Then back to our grey, two in the next back loop. One and two half double crochets. Then two half double crochets in the next back loop. One and another one. Oops, lost my loop there. Okay, and then two half double crochets in the last back loop. One and two. Okay. So by the end of that round, you should have a stitch count of 16. You should have doubled up. And it sometimes looks like there's another stitch there. And that's what I call a fake stitch. You need to make sure you don't work into that one. So check your stitch count is 16. Then skip your little tiny chain one, which probably disappeared. Find that first proper stitch. And we're going to slip stitch into there to join the round. Okay, and it should look a little something like that. So turn it upside down. You start to see the bear's face coming together. Okay, so what we're going to do now is one more round in the grey. Going to do a little chain one to begin, don't count that as a stitch. And then we're going to do one half double crochet in the same stitch we just slip stitched into, but we're going to work into both loops as normal. So just go under both loops as normal and do one half double crochet. That same stitch you just slip stitched into. Then in the next stitch, working into them normally now, under both loops, we do two half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so two half double crochets in the next stitch, two in there. And we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So in the next stitch we do one half double crochet, just the one. 
Okay, just one. Then the next stitch we'll do two half double crochets. One and two. Okay, then we go back to doing one half double crochet, then two half double crochet, then one half double crochet, two half double crochet. Back to the beginning and you should end on a stitch count of 24. Okay, so the next stitch we do one half double crochet, just working into the stitches as normal. And then the next stitch we do two half double crochet. One and two. Okay, so just repeat that pattern all the way around. You should end on two half double crochets and you should have a stitch count of 24. That's what I said. So one and then two next. Okay, just coming up to the end, the last two stitches. So one half double crochet and then the last stitch, two half double crochet, one and two. It's two in the last one. And there's our little fake stitch, so don't work into that one. Make sure your stitch count is 24. So I'm going to double check that. 2, 4, 6, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Yep. And then find your first half double crochet that you made. And we're going to do a little slip stitch into there to join the round. Okay, so that's the end of our, um, pretty much the end of the basic shape of our bear. Now we're just going to work the ears in grey and then we're going to move on to our next colour. So what we're going to do, we're going to chain one to begin and then this time on this round we're just going to work into the front loops this time. So instead of working under both loops, we're not going to work under the back loop, we're going to work under the front loop instead. So the front loop's only for this round. And we're going to start off by doing a slip stitch in the same stitch we just slip stitched into, but in the front loop only. So don't miss, see this one here where it's been slip stitched into. Just going to do, under the front loop only, a little slip stitch. Okay, keep it quite loose. We're going to do one slip stitch in the next eight stitches as well, just in the front loop. So just in that front loop because we are going to work into the back loops on the next round. So slip stitch in the next eight front loops. That's one. Next front loop. Two. Next front loop. Three. Next front loop. Four. Next front loop. Five. Next front loop. Six. Next front loop. Seven. And then the next front loop. Eight. Okay, so you've done a slip stitch in the next eight, so you've done nine in total. And then what we're going to do, you should see it's come up to about here on the nose, and we're going to work his ear now. So in the next front loop only, okay, so the front loop, we're going to do uh, five stitches. So we're going to start off with, so in the front loop only, okay, so make sure to keep that back loop free. The next front loop, we're going to do one single crochet, single crochet to begin, just in the front loop. Then we're going to do a half double crochet, just under the front loop. Then we are going to do a double crochet. And we're going to do two double crochet actually, sorry, we're going to do two double crochet. So let's do one. It's my notes tricking me. So one double crochet and then another double crochet. Okay, so you want two double crochets. Then we're going to do a half double crochet, all under that same front loop only. Half double crochet. Four, four, three. And then we're going to do a single crochet in that same front loop. So it's quite a lot of stitches, six stitches in total. And they're all in that front loop, so your back loop is still free. Okay, and you've got a little ear. Then what we're going to do, we're going to slip stitch in the next six front loops. Okay, the next six front loops only. So find that next stitch front loop, do a slip stitch. So 
that's one. Next front loop, two. Next front loop, three. Next front loop, four. Next front loop, five. And then the next front loop, six. That should bring you over to the other side. Now we're gonna work his second ear. So it's the same thing again. In the front loops only, in the front loop only, the next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet, half double crochet under the same front loop, then two double crochets, two, then half double crochet, and then a single crochet, all in that same front loop, that single front loop. Okay, so it gets a little bit big, but don't worry. Then we're just going to slip stitch back to the beginning on the front loops only. So just in the front loops, slip stitch in the remaining stitches back to the beginning. Okay, so just slip stitch to the end. Okay, and when you're back at the beginning, you're just going to find that first slip stitch that we did. So that's our little fake stitch there. So make sure to skip that, skip your chain one, find that first slip stitch, which I totally haven't got into properly. There we go. Okay, and do a slip stitch into there with the gray. Okay, and you should see it little pops out slightly at the moment. Don't worry about that, that's fine. Now what we're going to do though is we're going to join our pink. So we're going to get our pink yarn. And what we're going to do is we need to find the first back loop that we skipped. So if we move this over. Okay, you need to find that first back loop that you skipped. You see it there. So there's our little first back loop. So we're just going to find that slip stitch and it's going to be the other side of the slip stitch. Turn him over. So there he is. There is our first skipped back loop. So it'll be directly behind that first slip stitch that you did. We need to put our hook into there, into that first skipped back loop. And instead of yarning over with the grey, we're going to yarn over with the pink. Let's find our tail end of pink. Put that over. Let's hold it with our finger. Bring that through the skipped back loop and then straight for the loop on your hook. And we're working with our pink. Just pull your grey nice and tight so you can cut your grey. Okay, let's cut, finish with our grey. Now we're working with our pink and we're just going to secure that with a chain one. So just do a little chain one and you can pull that nice and tight, that can disappear. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do, what are we going to do now? Uh, joined our pink, then in the back loops only we're going to do one half double crochet in the next three stitches. So starting in the same one you just slip stitched into, that same back loop, we're going to go back into there when you just slip stitched into and we're going to do a half double crochet. It does get easier once you get going and we're going to do one half double crochet in those first three so that's one. Then in the next back loop which should be easier to see, two, then the next back loop do a half double crochet into there, three. So do one half double crochet in the first three and then we're going to do two half double crochet in the next skipped back loop. So there's our next back loop. Two half double crochet into there. One and two. Okay, so you see those back loops. Don't confuse it with any further stitches down here. They're literally lying right behind your slip stitches. There's your slip stitches. You just turn them over and you can see those back loops there. So two half double crochet in that next stitch. Then we're going to chain two. This creates our corner. Chain two, one and two. Then in the next back loop, we do two half double crochet as well. Okay, 
one and two okay two then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next four stitches yes in the next four sorry get confused in my notes one half double crochet in the next four stitches helps when you remember your own designs <laughs> so next stitch one next back loop two next back loop three and the next back loop four okay so one half double crochet in the next four back loops then in the next back loop which sits behind his ear we're going to do two half double crochets so the next one is literally you see that hole there there's our little back loop should be fairly easy to see it's literally just there two half double crochet in there so we're going to do our corner two half double crochet in there then we're going to chain two one and two then we'll do two half double crochet in the next back loop okay so it's just going to be right next to the other one there it is two half double crochet in there one and tail ends in the way two do half double crochet in there then we're going to do one half double crochet in the next four back loops so next four so next back loop careful not to go onto two bits of yarn there make sure we're just catching that back loop so one next back loop two next back loop three next back loop four okay so one half double crochet in the next four back loops then in the next back loop we're going to do two half double crochet not quite behind the ear this time so two half double crochet in the next back loop then chain two one and two then two half double crochet in the next back loop and this one is the one behind the ear there it's so two half double crochet in there one and two then we do one half double crochet in the next four so the next one's going to be right next to the other back loop next four so one next back loop two next back loop three next back loop four without bringing the black through <laughs> four then in the next back loop we do two half double crochet for our last corner one and another one in the same back loop two okay so two in there then chain two, one and two, and then two half double crochet in the next back loop. This is our second to last back loop. Two half double crochets in there, one and another one. Same back loop. Okay, so two in there. That should leave you with one back loop, just one left. And in that last one, we're going to do one half double crochet. Okay, just the one. then we're back at the beginning and what you can do now is literally skip your chain one find your first half double crochet and slip stitch into there okay don't look for any more back loops just join the round okay so it should look turn him upside down a little something like that hopefully you can see him and then we'll just do one more round to make our square a bit bigger and this is a bit easier it's going to work into the stitches as normal I'm going to chain one do one half double crochet in the same stitch you just slip stitch into going into both loops as normal and then we'll do one half double crochet in the next four up to the corner so next stitch one 
four half double crochets, next stitch two, next stitch three, next stitch four. Then at the corner, we're just going to repeat um, a similar thing to the last round, but in the two chain space. So in this big gap here, we're going to do two half double crochet, chain two, two half double crochet. So just put your hook into the big two chain space and wrapping it around the chains, we're going to do two half double crochet to begin. Two half double crochet, then chain two and two half double crochet in the same two chain space. Another two half double crochet, one and two. Okay, so you've got two half double crochet, chain two, two half double crochet. Then we're going to do one half double crochet along the edge, so that'll be in the next eight stitches. Okay, the next eight stitches. And you need to make sure you find that very first one there on the corner, don't miss that, that first one. Okay, so do one half double crochet in there, the next eight, so one. Next stitch, two, all half double crochets, next stitch, three, stitch four, next stitch five, next stitch six, seven, the last one, eight. And that should bring you up to the next two chain space. And in there we're going to do two half double crochets, one just in the big gap, Two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets in the same two chain space. And we're just going to repeat that all the way around back to the beginning. So then we go back to doing one half double crochet in the next eight, making sure to start in that very first stitch. So I'm going to do that and I shall come back and show you the finished row square. Okay, so just one half double crochet on the edge, and there should be eight. And then on the corners, you just do two half double crochet, chain two, two half double crochet in that two chain space. Okay, I'm just coming back to the beginning, so I'm on the last corner. So do two half double crochets, chain two, oops, two half double crochets, all in that same two chain space. And then at the end, okay, you did, you need to get a stitch count of eight along the edge. So we did uh, five at the beginning, one, two, three, four, five. So that should leave you with three stitches at the end, making sure not to miss that first one. So we're going to do one half double crochet in the last three stitches, starting in that stitch there. So one, two, and three. There we go. And then all we do is skip our tiny little chain one, find the first half double crochet, and slip stitch into there to join the round. And there he is finished. We just need to work his face, so I'm going to cut my yarn and then just pull that through, turn him around. So there we go. So I'm going to hide my tail ends so I get my yarn needle. Tidy up my tail ends and then we're going to work just a little face. So, oops, hide all my tail ends. I can thread it on. And with this, because if you plan to join these together, what I recommend is going through the same stitch you slip stitched into, and that keeps your stitch count the same. There we go, still got the same amount of stitches. And then just turn it over. Thread through some stitches back in the opposite direction. This should be sufficient enough. Oops. There we go, and then we can just trim down the excess. Can't speak. And there we go. And I'm going to hide all my other tail ends, and I shall come back and show you how to do a little face. Okay, so I've finished tying in all my ends on the back. And just exactly the same way. And what we're going to do now is just create some little eyes. So we're going to cut two short lengths of the black yarn. And with the black yarn, a little short length like that, we're just going to tie some knots into the middle. So just 
tie a knot into the middle and tie another one on top of that and try and get it to land on top of the other one so they're together like so and you can do one more if you want to just get it to land on top like so and then repeat that for the other eye but what we're going to do with the eyes is we thread one end and then find somewhere you want the little eye to be so I think about there that's quite good and then just go slightly to the side of the hole there's a stitch very slightly to the side so not actually right for it. it's catching on a little bit of yarn there you go like so and then at the other end hopefully you can see you want to do is go to the other side of the hole but just go for a little bit of stitching there as well to the back and all that does that catches on the yarn and your little eye should just catch on the outside turn it over and then tie this and sew into place you may want to hide your tail ends it's up to you for the sake of this video i am just going to tie that on the back in a double knot and then trim down the excess you might want to do a neater job than me. Okay, like so. And then I'm just going to repeat that for the other side. There we go. So I just repeated that for the other eye. And then we're going to take another little bit of black yarn. A little bit more black yarn. We're just going to sew a little mouth. You don't have to, of course. You can just leave, leave them like that if you want to. But I'm going to sew a little mouth. I'm going to start coming out of there. Give a bit of a tail. And then I'm just going to sew, I'm not really sure where to sew actually, I might just sew down. I'll give them a little smile. I'm just going to sew down. <laughs> and then sew up to about here. And then back down to here. Then up to here. I'll do this on camera. <laughs> so we feel it. About there. And then back down to there again. Desperately trying to show you the black yarn. Should get the idea. So there we go. I've just sewn on a little mouth, like so. And uh, there he is. There he's done. And then you can just hide your tail ends on the back. So I shall hide my tail ends and come back and show you my finished square and there we go so i've just tidied up my tail ends well there's a little bit just knotted on the back really you want to do a neater job than that it's up to you but there we go there is my little bare granny square and i hope you've enjoyed that and uh i will see you soon for some more crochet fun thanks for watching guys if you want to know how to join your squares together i've done a couple of videos um when i've been making other granny squares on how i join them two different ways so i'll put links in the description to those tutorials or you can check out my channel and uh, get some ideas of how to join your squares but i'll see you soon thanks for watching guys bye <laughs> there's my koala <laughs> <Great>. <laughs>